Alright, everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Huh. Ben? Well, that's odd. Eh, totally gonna ignore that. So yeah, last time we did a lot of cool stuff. And by that I mean we basically did all the things we need to do in Iconic Canyon, or most of them. In that we got the water going, uh, we did a, the first and second night things in the graveyard, and now we have a couple terrible things to handle. This first one is not so bad. While we're up here, we're going to get a heart piece. In this forlorn hut lies a challenge for us. Yeah, this is our uh, guy who, or girl, gender ambiguous ghost spirit thing um, that helped us get up here the first time. Uh, basically, he, she, it is telling us that we have to fight ghosts. The ladies. If your life drops below three hearts, mercy is the least I can offer. Whatever. We won't need it. Because these ladies are throwbacks. That's right, all the way from um, Ocarina of Time, we get these Poe sisters, basically. And they're pretty easy to fight, in all honesty, uh, depending on how you go about it. Yeah, with the most uh, improved sword, they're actually kind of pathetic, and that they take just one attack, but you have to be kind of quick on the draw. Like, that. Um, another strategy is using arrows, but that's one that we're not going to use until the last sister, which if you've played uh, Green of Time, yeah, you know exactly why, because she disappears, and there are four of her, and it's the one that you can't really tell... I thought, I, yeah, I thought it was that one. Uh, from an outward view, when you can see all four of them, the one that... Uh, I didn't see it. The one that spins is the real one. Of course, one way is to just shoot until you hit the real one, but that's kind of time-consuming. I think it's this one. Yep. And should be hit one more time. There you are. Yeah, easy cheesy. We only got hit once, I think. And for this, we get... A heart piece, much obliged. Yeah, yeah, no, and soul, whatever. I should mention that, um, like I stated in the last segment, off-screen, there were a couple things we needed to get in order to prepare ourselves for the well. Fortunately, most of the things you need... Um, beneath the well can be found beneath the well, but there are a couple things, um, such as uh, blue potion and five magic beans, and later, after the well, we'll need a powder keg, so be sure you have all of those good things before we... what the hell? Sorry, I'm losing my bearings here. I thought I knew where the well was. Should be right... around here, I thought. Maybe it's... above. That might be it. Yeah, here we are. So, we can either just climb down or fall. Yeah, it looked like it didn't even really hurt us, so whatever. Now, I might have mentioned as well last time that the Beneath the Well is the most horrible part of the game, because it's basically one giant maze full of Gibdos. But, when you have the Gibdo mask on, you can talk to them. And this one needs something blue that bestows health. Bet you can guess what that is. This... this... I bear no remorse... 
Apparently Gibdos are like snakes. I don't know. You like that? You like the idea of giving something to someone? Well, you better get used to it! Because we're gonna have to do that roughly... Uh, anywhere in the neighborhood of 13 times. It's not something that's required to do for every Gibdo beneath the well. I think there's only... there's Realistically, there's only like five that we need. Um, but knowing how bad I am at that, I'm gonna forget which are the five necessary ones. A fish is required, yes. Um... And you can either go about this the safe way, or the stupid way, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, the safe way, by the way, is using the Deku flowers, whatever. Alright, what do you need? H2O, okay, he needs regular water. Not to be confused with hot spring water. Mm. Deliciously fresh, I believe he means the fish. Yeah. And this room... Yeah, okay, this room has the hot spring water, as you can tell, as where, as well... As where? Yes. As well, um... Has more fish, and I think regular water. Or another fish. I think I only need one, though, so... Getting rid of you. Um, now one of them, like I said, needs regular water, and one needs hot spring water. Damn it, I don't want another fish. I just want some goddamn regular water. Eh, that fish was swimming on land for a second. Now there are some ways to go about this. Yeah, don't let the, the Dexy hand, right? Yeah. Don't let the Dexy hand grab ya. Um, the best way I've found to really get rid of these on land is with the Zora mask. Easy cheesy. Um, now we are not in need of the hot spring water yet, but we got it, and we're gonna let it cool down, basically, for this fella right here. The actual hot spring water will be used for something that's unrealistically far away. And by unrealistically far away, I mean it is from the spot where you get the hot spring water. Like this guy right here, he needs delicious to chomp on, sprouts watered. Five. Bet you can guess what that is. Exactly. Okay, and when... Yeah, I think I only... Ooh. I think I briefly uh, passed by what the guy says when you don't have something, which is if you don't have it away... Away! Or something like that. Um, wait. Okay, those give us a Deku sticks. But we also need Deku nuts. Heh <laughs> nuts. Anyway. Oh yeah, and there's... Wallmasters. Are we surprised? Hang on to that money, it'll be necessary. Makes a blinding flash, preferably ten. Now, this is confusing, because that is Deku Nuts. But, there's some, there's one that says, leave me ten refreshing blasts. That means, um... Oh, I guess we do need another fish. Never mind! Okay. Um... I kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, the there's one that says, leave me ten refreshing blasts, and I thought that was also, like, could be the Deku Nuts, but that one means bombs, basically. 
And again, both of which we can find down here, so we can give this guy the H2O. Yeah, he's so clever. <sighs> this wouldn't be so bad, quite honestly, if it wasn't such a annoying kind of maze-like thing to get through. And it goes on for a bit of a long time. Oh, and bugs! I know I heard them. There they are. We'll need those. Come on. Is this the one that has... Oh, I guess not. Okay. Oh, shit. And another wall master. Surprised. Thankfully, we have the best sword, so whatever. And you want... small and creepy. There we go. It's nice that some of them have, like, they're right there, immediately after the things that you get. Alright, this is an annoying payoff room. What do I mean by annoying payoff room? Well... As you can tell, there's clearly nothing in here. Oh look, I'm running into something. But clearly there's nothing there, right? Wrong. It's a chest of pointlessness. I mean... rupees. Yeah. I don't know if we need bugs again or not. But for right now, let's see what this guy... Maybe this guy wants the ten refreshing blasts. Oh. Looks like both of them want bugs. Uh... From what I remember, though, that's the last of those doors, like, through this pathway. Going north immediately when you enter the well. And if that's the case, then all that that guy has is a fairy fountain. So it's ultimately really not worth getting. Oh, I forgot that there was uh, one on the other side. This must have... Something useful? Um... Things with bombs. And these things. Thanks for that. I... Nah. Uh, did I need bugs again? I heard them. Somewhere. Maybe it's from the other side. Can't hurt to have them. Now back to getting a fish. We don't have two ready because we need the hot spring water. And I think from here we can uh, go ahead and get to the where the guy is with the hot spring water if we have the fish, which we will. No. Wrong buttons, as always. There you go. Okay. Let's get it and go. Get it and go. We gotta be fast on this one. Oh, wait a minute. We still need... And eh, never mind. Well... Because we still need the deck of nuts. It might be, though in a room after where we get the fish. So, if we're quick, which, of course, I know I won't be, um, we can maybe get to it in time. Just need these things to hurry up, which, of course, they don't. I have seen a couple playthroughs of this game, and I remember people getting so frustrated over the entire... Uh... Oh shit, didn't have the mask equipped. Sorry! There, there. Sorry, forgot the mask. Everything's trying to attack me at once! Stupid ice keys. If it hadn't... There are some Deku Nuts. How many does that give me? Oh god, it's by one. Ow. 
Clearly, I'm speaking for Link in that you hurt me. Damn it, there goes the spring water. Okay. Well, there are no more Gibdos along the pathway, so we will speed this up a little bit. Get our Zora mask back out. Get rid of the lukewarm spring water. And let's go. Okay, running, running, running. I'd hoped to get to the, um, the payoff for this entire place by the end of this segment, but I don't want to run on too long. I know lots of people do, like, regular... Damn it! Oh, that worked out surprisingly well. I know some people like to do half-hour, 45-minute long segments, but that's just not for me. No, wrong mask again! So I'll probably do the rest of the entire thing in the canyon... Um next segment. By the way, I should mention, I just, hearing that, hearing the bell reminded me, um, off screen as well as getting a couple things for the well, we also, uh, saved the old woman with the bomb, from the bomb shop again. Because in order to get one mask, um, we need to save her, um, on the first night. That uh, deals with the thief Sakon doing some, having something different, and basically we go to the Curiot. What? No. Ah, piece of shit. <sighs> Ten. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I can make this quick. Um. Okay. So, no telling how long the spring water has. I'm just gonna kill these guys. Gimme! 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 Almost there, almost there. Got one more. Come on! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm right there, right there, I'm right there. Okay, go, 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 go! Thank God. Okay, now that does not necessarily mean we're clear for the next Gibdo, and I forget how bad this room is, but I hate doing this, but we're gonna roll with it. Roll with it! Alright, just made it. Okay. Now why is this room so important, you might ask? Well, for one stupid reason. We have a cow, and we need to play for it uh, Epona's song. And I don't remember if it works this way in Ocarina of Time as well, but in this game, when you play that song in front of a cow, it makes a female noise because cows are girls, I guess. And it gives us milk. And there's a zombie in here that needs milk. I know it's a Gibdo, but let's be honest, it's a zombie. Now, do you need the milk? No, you need the ten refreshing blasts. Well, here, take forty. He doesn't actually take all forty, but... How the hell did I hear that all the way underground? Really... Very curious, I always thought. Hey, we get to fight a Big Po! This is totally important, and not a time waster. Yeah, we need its essence, of course, to give to some Gibdo. I don't know why. They all have very oddly specific requirements, I always thought. One of them wants ten bombs, another wants ten Deku Nuts, one wants milk, one wants a blue potion, two of them want fish, two want bugs, one wants hot water, one wants cold water. It's like, why can't you ask for normal things? Like, I can give you... Well, I guess in the Zelda universe, all the things that they ask for pretty much are normal. Whatever. Just get this and get on our way.
And like I said, I think the only ones that you really need, uh, because the big Poe you do need. And eventually now you go... Why is this room guarded by a... Thing? More bugs? Yeah, just bugs. I don't know. Um, it would help to have had the map for this freaking place. Um, now we can continue this way. Go past and... Um, God, it wasn't so dark in here, seriously. You need... Small and creepy. Good! We got another bug. I knew it'd be helpful. Now, what's in here? What the hell? Oh, can't. Enemies, enemies that I can't see? Okay, enemies I can't see. And torches. You know, I'm pretty sure it's a chest that gives rupees. I might as well get it. While we're here, right, guys? Thank you for completely missing the chest. And unfortunately, none of the fire released by the arrow around it... Oh, 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 oh! Aww. Would have been cool to be on top of the chest, but whatever. 50 rupees. Booty hooty hoo, who cares? Booty hooty hoo. Sometimes I don't even understand the words that come out of my mouth. You need a ghost. Again, why do you want a ghost? I mean, I guess they regenerate HP or something. Maybe they can bring a Poe or a... Or a Poe. Maybe they can bring a Gibdo back to a human life or something? I don't know, and I don't really care. And this is kind of like a death trap. Oh, good thing that... We got far enough away to where he was like, I ain't gonna make that much extra effort. Rich in calcium. And also... I was going to make some joke about how milk is really actually bad for you, but I drink milk all the time. I don't give a shit. It's good. Alright, so we're finally freaking here. Ugh, it's been a long time. But what's our big payoff? Honestly, it's pretty awesome, I have to admit. I'm just going to make this quick and do stick. Of course, assuming I can actually be competent with a stick. Our big reward for all of our cough, cough, hard work, more like just tedium, is of course... The Mirror Shield! Yay! It looks like a creepy face on the front, or a sad, distressed face. I don't know. Alright, it's already equipped, and we use it, basically, to do this. And of course, not to be outdone, this. And that leads us to our next part, which we'll come back to. This was long enough, and ugh. sorry it took so long, uh, but that's the well. It's really annoying, but we don't have to worry about it anymore. Now we can move on to the... well, you'll see. In the next segment, so thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you all later.